What is up guys? It's your boy Frisky coming in hot with a brand new report. Just want to do a quick shout out to my boy Zios and all you guys tuning in. Appreciate you guys tuning in and for everyone tuning in later. Appreciate you guys support. Appreciate you guys supporting the channel. If you dig music, it's my boy Zios, man. Um, he's I served with him in the army a long time ago. It's, um, I want to say about five years ago when I was still active, man. And he's super cool dude, man. And man, you know, he's chasing out his dreams out in LA, doing his thing. And I'm super pumped he's chasing his dreams. You know, I love EDM. EDM's always been part of my life. So, hey, what is up, guys? Hey, Frisky. Hey, appreciate that. Suto and Mariana. Hey, high fives. Good to see you guys here, man. Really appreciate you guys' time. And I know we're all super busy and, you know, got a bunch of things going on in your life. So, you know, I appreciate you guys tuning in. You know, really means the world to me so i've got a lot of cool updates going on for you guys today um there's a lot happening within dissension land but also I'm, i know one of my uh, viewers he reached out i think it was about two weeks ago and he was like hey hey what's up goldie high five see you too man but yeah he had reached out um i was actually tuning into a meta party my boy resonator he's been doing some um youtube live streams bringing out new updates with battle to earn and one of the guys there, he was like, hey, Frisky, I saw your report on Zed Run. Could you give me a more, you know, do another, you know, topic or could you hit on it again? So I'll be sure to cover that topic later on, like towards the back end of the stream. So hopefully you guys, you know, enjoy it. It's something different. Zed Run is kind of like a play to earn, but you do have to purchase one of their NFTs or their racehorses. And I think it's pretty cool. You know, I had a lot of fun messing around with it. So um, I'll be sure to be covering that in this stream as well. But um, yeah, let me go uh, drop this in the chat. Oh, actually, that's my SoundCloud. <laughs> well, if you guys want to see or make fun of my DJing skills that I did before, you can. Let me go drop that in there. <laughs> Let's see, where is my boy Zios? Where are you? Let's see. I'll oh, just look it up. Zios. There we go. If you guys enjoy his jams, man, make sure you hook him up with a follow. Listen to his jams. Uh, you know, super pumped he's doing his stuff, man, you know? But one of the things I want to talk about today is Dice Masters. That's right. One of the hot games out in freaking the Central Line right now. It's a pretty cool RPG game. I had lots of fun, and I do admit I have not been, you know, putting my part in terms of playing any new games or whatever. Or, you know, I haven't really been tuning into Dice Masters as well. But, you know, one of the cool things is I logged in. And I was like, holy cow, man, they've so much cool updates, you know, which is pretty freaking amazing. I mean, I'm just tell you know, zoomed on in and I was like, holy cow, man, like a whole bunch of new updates, you know. Um, before one of the cool things that was uh mentioned, I think it was a few weeks ago, was the ability to purchase these pets. And the cool thing about these uh pets, they give you different stats boosts, like either it boosts your your luck, your attack, your defense, and it's pretty unique, you know, it's pretty awesome. And you know, I gotta admit, it's pretty cool rocking around this place with a dragon, you know. <laughs> But, you know, tremendous amount of updates here, too. And, um, yeah, I'm, you know, really overwhelmed by all the updates uh, in a good way. Because I'm like, holy cow, they've done some pretty neat stuff, you know. And um, it's just absolutely incredible. One of the cool, unique things they had was the Lumberjack wearable. And that gave you a boost to... Um, when you're mining the uh, wood or resources get like double or extra and I missed out man you know um, um, I know it was in the marketplace for a little bit you could purchase it for 25 mana but people are selling it in secondary market man I've seen it for like 50 90 100 mana I'm like woof, it's getting kind of pricey but you know I miss I miss out on that chance but um, it's still pretty cool you know um, that they're doing tons of updates to this game you know so um, yeah, I'm just going to be kind of like chilling out here for a little bit, just looking around the updates. But from your guys' impression, what do you guys think of Dice Masters? I think, you know, definitely on the right trajectory, you know, like they've done, uh, I can't even, like last time I was here, like a lot of this stuff has just changed, you know, like the uh, <clears throat> the hardscaping they've done with the place, like even the uh, water, uh, how they made it. Uh, oh, cool. So I got to follow. Hey. 
Infinity, yo, hey, thanks for the follow, man. I appreciate it. You know, I am so honored, you know, because uh, I've been at like 90 followers for quite some time now. But with you, Infinity, hopping on in with a new follow, I can officially say I'm in the triple digits. I made it to 100, so high five. Thank you guys again, and thank for all your followers just, you know, supporting, you know. I'm freaking super pumped, man, and I'll be sure to be doing some giveaways and for some wearables and stuff so make sure you stay tuned man you know um have some fun and whatnot but you know some of the cool stuff they've been doing like um like check out the water um oh crap of course when i try to check out the water it just kind of like craps out but um unless they change it I, I can't tell you know i have you know i made it a big thing for me not to wear my glasses and you know my doctors already told me like hey your your vision is shit man you know just wear your goddamn glasses so i don't but before the water used to wave back and forth so maybe they're just doing some minor edits or whatever i thought that was a pretty cool unique thing to do and i've been seeing a lot of people within the central line like different builds like i went to roostons and they had the water kind of flowing peanut butters and of course unexpected feed era of course man my computer is crap man so i I do apologize for this it it always happens at least once or twice you know so let's try to refresh that bad boy but yet um i've seen a lot of new builds too like even in beavers i've seen kind of like the water kind of like waves like i think that's pretty badass you know worst message <laughs> lol well what do you mean the worst message <laughs> for my uh my computer hey but by the way this is my, my buddy maverick Every time, uh, oh, Fatal Era. <laughs> By the way, uh, this is my, you know, my big man Maverick. Every time I start streaming for some reason, like, I don't know if he knows, but then he starts coming to me. He's like, yo, Frisky, what are you doing, man? You, you know, gotta go outside, which I usually take him for a walk around seven or eight, but I don't know, he's a retriever, you know, he's impatient, kind of like me, man. Sometimes I could be a little impatient, so it is what it is, but, you know, he just kind of like rolls around and says like hey what the hell man but uh yeah you're absolutely right you know that's one of the worst you know things i every time i log into central line or if i'm playing something that's the worst message to see is that fatal error i'm like ah oh, no you know and sometimes it's because of the servers you know sometimes it is but another part of it is like what you're operating like my laptop is not the best you know it's, it's kind of ancient it's kind of old. Hey, come on, buddy. I'm I'm streaming, man. Come on, don't do this. I promise I'll take you to walk later. <laughs> so that's that's Maverick right here. This is what he usually does all the time, you know, like 24/7. Sometimes he wakes up at two in the morning and he wakes me up, you know. So uh, <laughs> so sometimes you see a guest appearance from Maverick, and that's him, man. <laughs> Co-host Maverick. Heck yeah. Mariana, thank you, thank you, heck yeah. <laughs> yeah, the detail is pretty magnificent, you know, like it takes a lot of, you know, time and energy to do this stuff, you know, and the biggest challenge to doing, you know, the central line in general is doing that low poly, you know, that's, that's always the deal breaker, you know, because a lot of people, I've seen, you know, most people, like even Unreal Engine and stuff, like you can get away with high poly and all these materials and stuff, but in Central Line, it's hard because you have to make that low poly count, but how do you make it low poly and make it presentable so it looks nice, you know, that people walks in and like, wow, this is detailed. That's the challenge, you know, and um, a lot of people might say, oh, you know, this thing doesn't look good because, you know, whatever. I always advise people, like, just think about it from the designer's perspective, you know, and that could go with anything, you know, within the central line. It takes a lot of time to do this. It's not easy. It's, if it was easy, everyone would be doing this, you know, out of, you know, no questions asked, you know, but it takes a lot of time and energy to do this and bringing the end user experience, us, you know, truly a great, you know, uh, you know, great experience, you know, and have that wow factor. So it's really hard to do that kind of stuff. But, you know, everyone, you know, within the cinch line, whether it's, you know, creators, people building games, play to earn games, etc. They all do a great job, you know, so definitely, you know, take that with green salt, you know what? So, yeah. Oh, Maverick. Yeah, that's that's my buddy, man. Maverick. I love that little dude, man. He he uh, has like uh 
I don't know, a strange, crazy amount of energy. And uh, sometimes, like, when I get off work, usually I'm, like, super exhausted. But I don't know, sometimes when I see him with all that energy, like, I don't know, I, I start feeding into it. I'm like, oh, man, Maverick, you're pumping me up, man, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. Hey, what's up, buddy? <laughs> But yeah, a lot of cool updates with the Ice Masters, um, and with the wearables they have too, like the Lumberjack, like I said before, gives you extra boost when it comes to chopping these trees, which is really nice, you know, it's a nice cool thing um, they added as a feature, because sometimes you're like chopping wood and you're like, dang, you know, I'm waiting, you know, and you know, and that's how it is with a lot of like different RPG games, you know, trying to grind for resources, you know, so it was really nice that they created different wearables to give you that edge, you know, to mine even more resources. And they're incorporating, last time I played, they used the, uh, the Metadroid. Let me see if I have it in my inventory. I should. But the Metadroid, which was a release they've done, um, I want to say a few months ago, or I can't remember the exact timeline, but, um, the Metadroid gives you extra boost when it's coming to mine the resources like the rocks and the minerals and stuff like that, which is super nice, man, because sometimes you're in the cave, man, and, you know, you're just trying to grind those resources, and you're like, oh, man, this is taking forever, but, you know, the cool thing is with these resources, you can craft wearables here, you know? Um, this mage set, which I'm going to toss on real quick, just kind of... If it actually loads up, <laughs> it's just my computer's crap, man. But it is what it is. You know, we move forward. <laughs> Work with what we got. Let's see if I can find that Metadroid. Let's see. My old weary eyes. I got it somewhere. Let's see. Boom. Here we go. Yeah, I don't know why my computer is kind of lagging a little bit. But the cool thing about the Metadroid, like I said, um, you get to you know, grind extra uh, minerals and stuff like that, which is awesome because in order to craft um, the resources they have, and they have like a mage set, they got like a barbarian set, and they got, um, what was it, what's the other one? Oh, a ranger set, like kind of like you're an archer and stuff like that, infinity, it's not your PC, it's DCL, you know, <laughs> you, you know, you're probably right, man, because, you know, my computer is kind of ancient, but again, it, sometimes it could be the servers, you know, because a lot of people logs are, and, and it's that traffic time, you know, when people come in at that hot hour, you know, when everyone's getting off work, it gets too jammed up, so you, you're probably right, Infinity, it could be the DCL servers for sure, but I, I, I must, you know, remind you that, you know, I'm, wor I'm working on some old equipment here, you know, S this laptop I had was back in... Let's see, when I was still working on my bachelor's degree, and that was back in 2008, 2006, 2017, there you go. See, I'm getting old, man, I'm starting to forget, like, basic things or whatever. But, you know, the cool thing about, you know, implementing, like, an old, like, you know, wearable they did before, it kind of shows, like, there's plenty of utility with the drops they did before, so anyone who's, you know, um... It's an owner of one of the wearables that Yanis or um, DCL Dadies published before. You may expect some cool, you know, utility coming in with this game. So definitely stay tuned, you know. And um, yeah, it was pretty cool grinding the resources here. And I'm like, yes, get some, you know, extra rocks and minerals. But um, two weeks ago when I was playing, um, I was talking to, there's a whole bunch of us just, you know, getting like resources here. Then we started talking about like cars and someone told me, he was like, hey dude, um, this, I was having issues with my Mustang for some odd reason, um, at night, like it would start flickering the lights and I did an old modification a long time ago with like demon headlights and it has HID bulbs. So one guy, he actually could, told me a good tip. He was like, hey dude, upgrade to LEDs and you know i've had a problem too and i had a mustang you know and i'm like oh crap you know so i haven't gone to it yet but i've been looking at you know doing some research on it i'm like ah the solution finally man yes <laughs> damn that's sick i didn't even know the joy did that yeah dude they put put it out not so long ago i was like oh that's cool man so and you know this kind of you know sets potential expectations, you know, like, um, hey, you know, maybe if you own one of the wearables in the past, you might get something cool, you know, and, you know, they're packing in a whole bunch of new uh, updates and stuff, so definitely stay tuned, you know, they've been working pretty hard, let's see, Hellfire Club, love your shirt, hey, Goldie, you know, you already know, man, hell yeah, <laughs> yeah, I dig this shirt, I actually got it, um, 
want to say three days ago. So I was like, ah, sweet. Heck yeah, man. Yeah, usually when I'm off work, I just try to get rid of the polos and ties and dress shirts. And I'm like max relaxing time, you know, just straight chilling. So, but yeah, that's one cool update here with the, uh, um, what you call it, with the wearables and stuff. And, you know, unfortunately, the lumberjacks are out, man. So, you know, like me, I missed it, man. So, um, and it, it wasn't, you know, they gave plenty of notice that they, this thing was out. But, you know, I've just been so swamped with work and all these crazy updates that's been happening. I'm like, ah, man, freaking stress. <laughs> but we make it work, you know. But once you craft enough uh, minerals or, I mean, resources like, you know, wood, you know, um, the skulls you get from defeating the uh, executioners or the dire wolves and stuff, you get to go to this little craft station and it's northwest of the map. And then you go here and you either go to Ranger Bow, Ranger, like, but they're all a thousand resources. So if I wanted to do the Ranger Bow, um, it doesn't show, but um, it'll be a thousand wood, a thousand like uh, rocks or minerals, a thousand skulls. So, yeah, so definitely get on the grinding, man. You know, I mean, they have plenty of wearables out for people to, you know, get them and whatnot. You know, I think they had it in, I think, a hundred thousand, if I'm not mistaken. So, there's plenty enough to go around, but definitely get on it, man. You know, it's some cool wearables, and let's go hit tap. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Hope I can put the mage set on. Hey, buddy. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I got you in just a second, buddy. <laughs> so, guys, I'm going to take a temporary tactical... Oh, my God, Maverick. <laughs> I'm just going to let him out um, real quick, but I'll be right back in just a jiffy. It's going to take, like, two seconds. All right, guys. S sorry about that. Just let him in the backyard. Just let him do some exercise and stuff. Usually, I like play fetch with him. You know, work on my cardio. But I'll do that later. You, I'm sure he has plenty of energy to do so. <laughs> but let's go scroll down to. Let's see. Where's the mage set? I know I got it somewhere. God damn it. Let's see. It's boom. Here we go. Whoops. No, that's the doctor drip. Where? Oh no, that's fractilians. Uh, put that on, put that on. Where's the hat? I got the hat somewhere, but let me at least put on the robe and the, uh, the badass staff so you guys can keep it out real quick. I can't find a hat, but I was able to make the whole mage set, so I was like, ah, oh, yes, heck yeah, man. You know, and I think it's pretty cool, man, you know? And um, I really like it. Every time I go to an event, I always have the Cyber Ninja. You know outfit and um oh i'm always rocking that freaking staff i don't know why it's just so cool the skull looks like you know you know someone starts something you just whack someone in the head like i don't know i i just really like it <laughs> but the cool thing too is they got the berserker set and ranger set i think you know as much as i want to do the ranger set just because you know army you know rangers you know i'm like ah man you know something in me says to go do it but um the Berserker set, I think I want to do next because I'm into like the Viking scene, so that's pretty sick, which is probably the next one I'm going to do, but I got to put in some time, man. I just haven't had like the perfect amount of time to, you know, rock it out or whatever, so I'll definitely make some time, hopefully this weekend, if I'm not too crammed up or too busy, but yeah, you know, um, this is the Ice Masters, man. It's sick what they've been doing. Oh, let me show you this little... I'm not sure if this guy's still here. But last time I played, if you guys want to pick up some resources too, or I think they're called free coins or gold coins. So if you go scale up this mountain and you keep hitting that space bar or whatever, you got this little guy in the corner, man. You know, he startled me first when I was exploring. It's called the Mountain Man, you know? And uh, he'll give you some free coins, which, you know, I'm certain you're going to use in the future for you know something wearables or you know maybe leveling up so definitely try to claim some uh coins while you know the mountain man is still around you know so <laughs> all right let's see what we got but yeah um what are your guys thoughts on dice masters i think they've done an absolute phenomenal job you know um really rock it out oh crap sherry berry hey Thanks for the follow, man. No, no way, man. I'm freaking super pumped. 
thank you so much for swinging by and for the follow man i'm in the triple digits i'm super pumped man yeah <laughs> boy man you guys man you know the community here is just super cool man you know i appreciate everyone tuning in you know hooking me up to follows thank you so much and thank you sherry you know high fives man appreciated it Let's see, everything go. I see my butterfly beach wearable. Yeah, you know, that was a sick drop you did, uh, Goldie. I really like it. Sometimes I rock it out too. Like if I go to, if I have time to swing by events, I'll try to, you know, put it on, you know, have my spring attire set, you know, cause sometimes gotta admit, you know, rocking, you know, the cyber ninja with all that metal and armor, you can't be going to the pool. It's gonna get rusty. So, you know, gotta switch on the fly, you know, and I got that butterfly beach set, Goldie. So heck yeah, man. But yeah, this is, you know, Dice Masters, man. Ah. Oh. I, I wish I could spend some more time on this and I promise you guys I will provide more updates to Arn Dice Masters as, you know, they continue to evolve, man, you know, they're doing absolute incredible things, you know, let's see, gotta switch it up to Butterfly Beach set, yeah, for sure, let me just, let me just bring it out so everyone can see too, because uh, I really like what you did there, Goldie, and um, the cool thing, of course, you know, these cell not working, yeah, let's see, it's running a little slow. Not sure. Yeah. Let's hit weights. All right. It's my face sometimes. Sometimes I'm like, oh crap, why is it, you know, crashing again? Jeez. And you know, it could, like what Finish said, could be the servers for sure. But you know, you know, my laptop is, I want to say, five, six years old. So. No, it's been putting in work, especially for my undergrad degree, you know, so it's put in a lot of hours, so I need to upgrade this bad boy. Let's see. Ah, crap. Yeah. Well, it's working now. Let's see. Let's see if I can find it, Goaty. Oh, here we go. Oh, money. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's running anciently slow, and it's probably just servers flooded you know um uh, hmm. yeah i'm gonna try to put it on too but another portion i want to talk to you guys rookie mistake you need to change a genesis plaza hey you know it happens you know i know usually i try to change ahead of time because sometimes i feel like once i have obs pop in and have every like the programs and windows and everything starts getting like flooded and you know kind of running super slow and one of the things i was messing with before blender was uh, doing some like 3d modeling of like topography so i don't know if it's one of the plugins that i kind of installed that's making it run slow as well but i promise to definitely showcase it this for you Goldie. you know you did such a great job and it was actually featured in meta trekkers wearable wednesday so definitely if you guys could check it out check out the legendary butterfly beach set you know it's pretty sick and in the females too you got like a tattoo like in your right arm it's a butterfly it's pretty cool i should get make some wearables get some like you know badass ink you know that'll be pretty stellar yeah i don't know why decentralized not working too well with me but definitely check out dice masters guys you know it's pretty pretty sick man yes bro yeah dude hell yeah man yeah, you know, um, you know, I haven't been putting a lot of time in, you know, wearables. It's just sometimes I'm just overwhelmed with, you know, the uh, kind of like the workload from my pursuit, like my full time job, the reserves, because I'm still serving army reserves and um, I do so much things, man. But I think it's time for me to publish a wearable soon. So I think I'll try to work on it or make it a priority. But after I'm done with this, like, uh, huge seminar that's coming up in august so i'll definitely maybe do some ink man i think ink will be pretty sick you know yeah i think it's crapped out on me unfortunately but um yeah dice masters definitely check it out super sick man but you know moving on um i also want to talk to you guys about something that's come up on my radar for the last two weeks and it's called zed run so zed run is an interesting um kind of new thing a play to earn game so you have it so it's a digital racehorse kind of. so you buy these nfts like so this is one of the nfts i buy so when you buy an nft you can use it to start racing in these events now um it's it sounds kind of like straightforward but man 
it's a like i actually did some research on this because i was like man why is this so complicated like i got this cool badass horse but i keep losing you know so i was like man i have one horse oh heck yeah sherry hell yeah dude i have a few horses now but man like um it, it's still hard for me to figure out some of the stuff i've been looking at um there's this gentleman his name is crypto sonar and he streams exclusively zed run and i followed his channel and saw a few of his streams and man he's like i don't know like an expert or savant when it comes to zed run like he has all these things with graphs and um skill sets races and man if you guys want to learn more too definitely check out his stream like i he comes highly recommend but one of the things with zed run so i guess one of the websites that kind of like supports it is called haku now i'm not sure if they work with anything else besides zed run but from my knowledge they run exclusively with zed run so this is my you know stable it's the general stallions but you can go here you can purchase like these horses from here and it kind of works together with open sea so you can see what people are selling it for or um, you could look at you can sort by who's been winning highest and lowest and some people like there's no way in hell like you know this guy's trying to sell one of his sources for one billion eth you know i don't know dude that's i don't know how to say that you know some people just kind of off the rails but there's some of them are kind of like reasonably priced so you can sort by um their price whether you know you know that fits the parameters you're searching you can also look up their genotype so technically the lower the genotype is the more rare they are or something like that let's see oh crap my, my poor, let's see uh love said hell yeah goldie yeah so yeah DCLs, yeah sherry berry you know i i saw it about uh i i talked about briefly about Zed Run two weeks ago and I went to their build and I was like holy cow man that's a freaking sick build and they have one of their horses too like like an NPC but it's like jumping up you know being you know ferocious and badass and stuff did you see the Bud Riser X Zed Run collab wearable coming out I did not Infinity there's a wearable coming out no way man that's sick in the central line interesting man it, or is it like a, a skin for the horse Oh, it's a wearable? No way, dude. That's that's insane, man. A DCL shirt? <laughs> that's insane. Well, it would make sense because, you know, when I saw their uh, land or their build, I was like, holy cow, dude. Like, this is a huge build. But it seemed like they didn't have done updates. And it's probably because, you know, they've been working or making Zed run flawlessly. And as I've been playing for the last two weeks, they've been doing some big changes as well. Especially when it comes to paid racing, which... I gotta annotate and make sure I bring that up later when they're paid racing. But, you know, um, it's pretty interesting what they've been doing. So, uh, yeah, you can go purchase one of these horses here. Um, genotype, lower, the more rare they are. And then they go by, um, what was it? They're uh, kind of like their breeds. There's like Nakamatos, there's uh, Sazabos. What else? What's the other two? The other two was uh, a buttering and crap, man. I'm losing. Why? Why don't I just look here, man? <laughs> See, hence why I'm not um, Zed Run expert or subject matter expert. You know, I have just uh, started recently playing this, but it's pretty cool. It's really cool stuff they're doing. Let's see. Oh, a Finny and a buttery, and then their uh, breed type Genesis is like has so many different perks behind it but you know i've been trying to look over those genesis horses and man like uh they're expensive man so i'm like ah that's out the picture you know let me look at legendary exclusive but you know what's another interesting thing is um when you start seeing these races there's some you know like genesis nakamoto horses with like a lower number like a z2 z3 whatever but you see like a buttering elite just rocking it you know so that's why i was like man this is a lot more confusing than i thought so i had to do a lot of research into this and that's when i found haku which was pretty interesting so let me tell you a little bit about haku besides purchasing it you can look at the horses so say like we want to look at 
this guy right here, right? And you could look at these stats too in your own stable as well. So you can go in there and you could look at kind of like their win rate, paid win rate, how many races they have done. And it's pretty interesting because then you could kind of see where they do good or where they're most likely to succeed. So if you look at the stats, like at 2,600 meters, came eighth place, okay? And then you could do control F and just kind of like zoom through, like, let's see how many 2,600 races he's done, all right? He's done well, only one, so it's not a big data set to work off. But let's see, I see 1,200. 1200 so you can see all right came six once seventh fifth so by doing these kind of things you can actually get an idea like whether the horse does good at this certain um these certain parameters like between a thousand to 1600 1800 to 22 and 22 to 26 you know so it can help you make better decisions when it comes to doing the races now you could either do free racing or you could do paid racing so every paid race i've done which you know it happens you know i only spend like maybe like 50 or 60 bucks or whatever i really won much i only won like 10 15 bucks and i was like oh hell yeah the first time i won i was like sweet but it was like second third place so i was like ah you know, i'll take the w you know Let's see, can you feed the horses? Ah, oh, man, Goldie, thanks for reminding me that. So another cool, unique thing you could do too, and they actually have a leaderboard as well. So if you go to my stable homepage, right, and you check out the horses that you have, and you can tell I've been playing a lot. So you could go to say like Cybercop. He's uh, one of the horses I picked up, and I was like, oh, this dude, he's good at sprinting. He's got a lot of good stats. But another cool thing is you can feed your horses here. So when you feed them, you know, it has like this cool little pop-up, like, you know, cool message. It says, Cybercop accepts a handful of hay you've offered. Why, thank you. It says between mouthfuls, I've been famished all day. You aren't sure what to say back. You had no idea digital horses were so polite or that they spoke such perfect English. And it has like these cool little, I guess, like things or like this dialogue it creates. And I, I, I think it's kind of cool, man, because sometimes like it'll have those, uh, those uh whatever they call like the cheesy dad jokes or whatever and you're like i don't know right it just catches you off guard and it's completely random you know and i'm like what the heck dude you know but you can feed your horses and you get these cool little things but i also from what i've also heard and through the you know grapevine i don't even know people says that anymore huh? damn i'm getting old man but through the grapevine you know people says that if you're going to race your horse, make sure you feed him three times before a race. And supposedly, they're supposed to do better, you know? So, I've been doing that, and sometimes I'm up there, you know? But I haven't been playing enough to really confirm that, you know? So, you know, take it with a grain of salt, you know, do your own research. I never fed my... Hey, you know, Sherry, don't feel like, you know... Same with me. I didn't know about this as well. I found out literally like five, six days ago. I'm like, oh crap, maybe that's why I was doing so crappy in these races, man. Like, poor horses are starving. I'm like, oh, you know, get first place, man, you know? And I'm just, ah, uh, man. So I didn't know, you know? So, <laughs> but you know, yeah, so you're supposed to feed them like at least three times a day and then you go to the tracks with them. So I think that's that's pretty cool or that's a pretty uh, unique way to like really think about this, you know. And so I like it. I think it's pretty fun. But um, yeah, and then also in the Zed Run homepage too, you can check out like the different horses you have or whatever. And you can like really interact with them, which is pretty cool. You can see if they're at 100%. Um, between 90 and 100 percent they're supposed to do their peak performance you know um then they drop down to like 89 to i think 80 or 79 so they do mid-range and then anywhere below you just you're just blowing cash if you're doing any paid races you know so um yeah and then you could check them out you can see like oh you know dark destroyers fresh and ready to go you know and uh yeah oh yeah crap so i did race darf destroyer a few days ago and actually won first place man i was like oh no way you know so i was super pumped when that happened because you know i barely win any races so when it does i'm just like yeah you know super excited and super pumped so 
and then you could also check them out in 3D too. Like, I mean, that's that's kind of cool, man. You know, for you know, have that an NFT that you could really interact with. You know, and kind of like these kind of unique aspects. I think that's pretty awesome, man. You know, and then um, yeah, you know, I think it's super exciting. I mean, what are your guys' thoughts? You know, if you guys are not familiar with Zed Run, like, what are your guys' thoughts? Do you guys like it? Is this something that you might want to, you know, try out or whatnot? I mean, at first, you know, I was really confused when I heard about Zed Run because I was like, Digit Racehorsing, and then the more I started learning about it and interacting with it, I was like, man, this is actually pretty cool, man, you know, um, it's pretty fun and it's something different to do, you know? Zed is fun? Heck yeah, no, absolutely agree, and... Yeah, and um, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to cover it, because someone brought it up like, hey, you know, can you talk more about Zed Run? And I was like, sure thing, I would love to talk more about, you know, Zed Run and, oh, Sir Drop Bear, hey, my man, high fives, dude. Hey, thanks for swinging by, Sir Drop Bear. Hey, guys, show some love to my boy, Sir Drop Bear TV. He's another streamer in the Central Land community. I tuned into his uh, stream, I think it was three or four days ago. Super cool dude, has a lot of good energy. He's a really cool guy, man, you know? And uh, yeah, you know, and he was playing in a stream Tiesto, and I was like, my man, dude, you know? Um, Tiesto, you know, a lot of people always says like, oh, you know, he went mainstream, he's not, you know, whatever. But for the, you know, for the fact that he was purely trans in his early days, did like a complete 180 and transform and done something completely entirely different, you know, takes a lot of talent, a hell of a lot of talent, you know, and I give it up to Tiesto. And for me, he's always the GOAT, you know, the GOAT, you know, in the EDM world, you know, and I love a bunch of artists too, you know. But yeah, let me show you guys a little bit how the racing interface works. So, Darth Destroyer, um, she does good at 2400 races, you know? So, hey, Sir Drop Barry, hell yeah, TSO, my man. Love him, dude. One of my first, um, I guess my, my first CD from TSO was Elements of Life. Pure trance. If you guys haven't seen it, super old school TSO, man. You know, uh, I think I still have the CD somewhere, somewhere in my house. But I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll track it down one day. <laughs> it's probably banged up. But so, you know, um, once you have your horse or your NFT or your digital horse, you get to see what classification. So for Darth Destroyer, you know, she does good at 2400 and she's class two. And then the classes, you could jump up in class. So usually after you do a discovery race, which is like 10 races, um, they get assigned a class. They can either go from five to three to two or whatnot. And um, once they're assigned a class, then you can race them in that class. So after you're done with the discovery, that's when they get a classification, which is not set in stone. If you lose, you will go to class three and you could go to class four, but you could also move vertically and go up to one. So some of my horses go from two to one, one or two, whatever. But hang on real quick, guys. I'm gonna get my buddy Maverick. I hear him crying. He's like, hey, Frisky, get me out of here, get me in here, so give me one second. Good, buddy. All right, I'm back, guys. Let's see, let me go. I actually want to show you guys how like the interface works. Let's see, class two, boom, 2400. All right, we're gonna put one of my horses at 2400. So we're gonna put Darth Destroyer. <clears throat> Sometimes the gates get taken up, so then you have to just come back at it again. So another thing too, and you know, I've heard that, you know, which makes it even more complicated. Apparently your horses does good at certain gates, which is, you know, which can be even more challenging. It's like another, you know, uh, I can't even think of the word right now, but it just adds even more issues because then you're like, oh crap, you know, my horse does good at 2400, does good at gate nine or eight, you know, it's like, ah, so much stuff to track, you know, but again, that's one of those rumors I heard. I'm not, I haven't heard any like 110, 120% accurate analysis on that, but once I do, um, I'll definitely bring it up to you guys, you know, and um, hope you guys, you know, 
enjoy this too, Zed Run. I know it's completely a little different from my regular Decentraland Land stream, and but you know, I thought this was super unique, something different. You know, um, first time I heard about these guys was I think a week before uh, NFT NYC, and I was like, oh, who are these guys? And then that's when I started learning about them. I was like, oh, this is this is you know unique, pretty interesting, and you know adds variety. You know. Um, What's that with saying? I think it's uh, don't put all your eggs in one basket or whatever the case may be. So something unique, maybe you guys might like it. Something different to do, you know. So um, if you guys are interested, definitely check it out, man. You know, I I have a lot of fun, too much fun. Sometimes I'm like, you know, drinking some, you know, brewskis in the weekend, and then I'm just like, yeah, go go for a banana cake, you know, just too much energy. So. Um, once you know the whole gate is like filled or whatever, you go next to run, you can put my racehorses only, and then click over here, and then you get to see if your horses what gate they are and you know who they're competing against, you know. So we can watch in either 2D or we can watch it in 3D. So let's watch it in 3D because it's even more badass. All right, it's loading up. And if, I, if you guys are just laughing at me, I'm sinking down. It's my my chair's broken. You know, everything's broken, man. My my laptop, my, my damn chair. <laughs> so my computer's just a little laggy, but this is how it kind of looks. Let's see, where's my horse? I forgot what race. Oh, there we go. So you can either watch it like here in this 3D perspective. I like the Z music. Oh yeah, man. Hell yeah, Sherry. Yeah, the music gets me pumped up, man. Like, you're just like, oh, you know, go for it, you know? <laughs> it's super, super entertaining. And also, too, if you click on your horse and you see this little helmet or whatever, you can click on it, and now you're, like, racing in the horse or you're having that perspective if you're, like, on top of the horse racing, which is pretty sick. And then you can see the stats, like, to the left, if I can find my mouse. Yep. So, so far, Darth the Shore is 12th place, but, you know, she, you know, still beginning of the race, you know, it's 2,400 meters, we're about 1,600. Oops, let's go press this, and you can press it to come back. I mean, this is pretty cool, man. I mean, what do you guys think, man? <laughs> come on, Darth the Shore, you gotta, you gotta get a W for me, man. You gotta get a win. <laughs> But usually it's not this laggy, it's just my computer's crap. Once again, I do apologize. But usually, like real time too, you're seeing it, you're getting super pumped. You're like, oh crap. Some of these horses be cheating though, man. Sometimes I see them just completely gap some people. I'm like, oh crap. But so far, Darth the Shore is in seventh place. Back in eighth. Hopefully, come on, let's go pick up a win. This is a free race, so you know. If I don't win, it's not a big deal, but I still like to get those wins, you know? <laughs> and you can zoom out too to see where you're at, you know? Sometimes, usually, I, I hate to admit this, sometimes I'm always zooming out because I'm like, oh no, banana cake you lost, but you know what? You gave it your best effort, you know? <laughs> Let's see. So we got 600 more meters, so still got time to pick up. I'm in eighth place. Come on, Darth Destroyer, let's do this, man. So we got about 300 meters, you know. Still, yeah. I might lose more, more than likely, but you know, it could possibly do a 180 we'll see we'll see all right now we got 100 meters this is usually the part when I'm like come on let's go but sometimes I always lose but <laughs> nah, it happens you know, sixth place yeah it happens not not a big deal but I really love the animation the work they really put into this I mean it is pretty sick super sick I 
I mean, what are your guys' thoughts, man? This is this is cool, man. Oh well, yeah, Sherry. That's what half the time, you know. Just even having the option to play this, really, it's it's still fun in my eyes. You know, it's something cool, something unique you can really do. You know, and uh, something different you can do, and I, I I like it. It's fun, and then the music gets you amped, man. Like uh, some of the stages too. Like they'll have like kind of like a Matrix theme to it, and then you're like, holy cow, man! Like just this is awesome. <laughs> So, I'm gonna X that out. Man, I don't know why, but I always have fun doing this. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, I made a sixth place. Not a big deal. It was a free race, you know. It's still fun to play, you know. Usually, when you get up in class two, like one, two, you know, all these, you know, horses, now the competition is getting tough, you know. So. It is what it is. It's still fun, you know, it's still have some fun time or whatever. And then I got a few horses that are in class one. Let's see. All right, let's see, a thousand meters. Let's do it. So it's a sprint. So let's go. Let's see, where's Cybercop? So one of my horses, Cybercop, sometimes crushes it on the uh, sprint races so we'll do one more race and then i'm gonna do a giveaway because thank you guys again for really tuning in you know really means a lot to you you know get support from the community you know it gives me energy to keep moving forward and you know you guys are awesome man you know it's great just hanging out with you guys let's see how many so we got nine out of twelve so we got three more before the gates filled so why wait for this to fill up and whenever you register a horse as well say like you're like oh crap which uh where do i register my horse at and you're scrolling through all of this stuff you just look for this little icon the yellow circle that shows that indicates that your horse is registered in that event you know so that's pretty cool so nine out of twelve Heck yeah, sweet. Well, it might take a little, uh, maybe a little bit to fill up. So while that fills up or whatever, let me go do a giveaway, man. Let's see. All right. Well, where's my glasses? So I got these super cool Xeno kicks. Uh, one of the sponsors that always helps me out, Meta Party. You know, I've been, you know, these guys are super cool, man. They donated a bunch of wearables exclusively to give out to great outstanding members within the Decentraland community space like yourself. And um, yeah, you know, one of these, um, the Xeno kicks they're super cool got like super cool emission and they also even got this kind of like design right here which is really cool it's pretty wicked you know I actually have a tattoo too like in my chest that has like a diamond with an evil eye or whatever so I think it's pretty pretty legit pretty sick for sure but yeah if you guys want to get entered into this giveaway just get active in the chat we're gonna get my boy Nightbot in here Sometimes Nightbot can be a little spicy, so I turned down the settings for Nightbot, so hopefully it doesn't, you know, do any weird blocking stuff, which I had issues in the past, you know, but get active in the chat, and if you guys want to uh, enter this giveaway, Sherry Berry, hell yeah, you know, awesome community members like you, Goldie, Marianne, Sir Drop Air, there's so everyone here in the chat, just want to say, you know, truly, thank you guys again, uh, I'm super pumped, man. I made it to triple digits, you know, in uh, Twitch, you know. I, I, I don't know. For me, that's a huge milestone, you know, because, you know, I started out. I was like, I don't know if people might tune in or whatever, but you guys are incredible, man. It really means a lot to just, you know, be here and support the community and have outstanding uh, members like yourself in here. Yeah, if you guys want to get into this uh, giveaway, let me know. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. There you go. We out here. Oh, yeah, man. Sweet. Heck yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm super pumped, man. You know, I was like, no way, you know. And I remember when I first started too, like, you know, slowly I saw the numbers going up. I remember when I hit 10, I was like, yes, you know, I'm like a Twitch all-star, you know. <laughs> but, you know, it's pretty cool, you know. Being a Decentraland reporter too, um, definitely hit me up if you guys have any suggestions or if you guys want to enter too or you want to highlight any content, please, you know, reach out to DMs. You know, I'd love to bring you in on the show, you know, I think that'll be cool. All right, I'm going to give you about 30 more seconds and then we're going to go uh, to the uh, giveaway. Infinity wins. Let's fucking go, my man. Hell yeah, dude. Appreciate the support, dude. You know, I'm, I'm still kind of like, you know, in shock a little bit because I'm like, oh, crap. You know, I made triple digits. Oh, man. Super pumped, man. You know, so pretty excited. Pretty excited. All right. I think the time has come. Let's do a little slow drum roll. Ready? 
Any last entries? Anyone want to come in? Congrats. Hey, thanks, Mariana. Oh, you're in the giveaway too, too, man. All right, let's do a slow drum roll. All right, let's roll it. Let's do it. Ha, <laughs> Goldie, hey, what's up? Hey, drop your ETH address and I uh, got you, man. Oh. Hey, what's up, Mavi? All right, where where do Xeno kicks go? What are you doing, man? <laughs> all right, I'll take you out too, man. I promise, all right? Hey, Goldie, drop that ETH address. I got you. And I just want to say truly, you know, Thank you guys again, man. You guys are super cool, man. I really appreciate you guys here just chilling with me, hanging out. Hanging out with me, Maverick. <laughs> All right, I got you, man. I'll, I'll, I'll take you out a little bit. Let's transfer. Let's go. Boom. Transfer out. All right, let's hit sign. And now, Goldie, you have a pair of Xeno Kicks. So yeah, these are pretty cool. I like them. And you know, guys, keep coming through. I got a bunch of uh, wearables I love to give out to you guys. You know, it's always great to have outstanding members here in the community. Much love and appreciate for all. Oh yeah, Sir Drop Bears, heck yeah, man. You know, thanks for swinging by too. Appreciate you coming through the chat, man. You know? Oh my god. My, uh... <laughs> so just an unrelated story you know, my dog Maverick he loves like when uh, I usually get Amazon packages if I leave them out for like two seconds or I don't throw them away he just grabs and starts tearing them up I don't know why he likes boxes unusually but let's see next run I think my oh wow still waiting still waiting one more okay so we got oops let's see did it go away yep I think the gates are full all right sweet so now we go to the next run and yeah you know now we're here three minutes 25 seconds for the next race which is cool so you know you have a little bit downtime <laughs> new top gun was sick run streaks around OG. Ooh, nice hey man you know i haven't seen the new top gun yet you know it's been on my to-do list you know i've been a big top gun fan you know so uh I'm really excited. Everyone's told me it's, it's really great. Not because, you know, main reason too is they didn't use any like CGI. Not to down that, like it's cool to see CGI stuff. But the fact that I actually use like actually real, you know, fighter jets and stuff, you know, that's that's sick, man. You need to. Dude, I'll make it my priority. I promise, man. I've been, uh, I've just been so swamped with work, to be honest. But that, that excuse has been wearing thin. It's been on my to do list for quite some time. Like yesterday, <laughs> for sure, man. Yeah, okay, dude, I, I promise I will, man. And I'll get back to you on that, for sure. But yeah, everyone's told me it's been great because they don't use CGI. It's just, you know, actual real life, you know, fighter jets, everything, and it's it's really nice, super cool. Just an outrage, it's insane. The lack of CGI was super refreshing. Yeah, you know, and I don't get me wrong, I like CGI stuff too, and it's kind of hard to do some sci-fi stuff without CGI, but the fact that, like, I couldn't put it better than that, you know? The fact that they didn't use CGI, it was really refreshing to actually see people, you know, with cinematics, making something really unique, capturing those, you know, moments too. And, you know, I, I, I really enjoy it. I appreciate stuff like that, you know? So I can't wait to check it out. Well, while this kind of like loads up, Oh, that's my boy Zayos again. <laughs> Trying to see where I put my expand community page. So, um, bringing it forward to our expand. So, our expand community page is something where all the Decentraland reporters, it's our community space. Just think of it as like Reddit mixed with Twitter. You know, it's our clubhouse where you got, we have like different events like NFT Tuesday. We got, um, you know, with Kevin on Earth, we have all the reporters reporting there, and it's really unique stuff. You know, subscribing with the community supports all of the uh, uh, reporters within uh, this community space. But you could also just join the community and just start voting our posts. One of the things we do as reporters too is um, we have meta moments, and my meta moment for today is you know being here with you guys chilling and stuff and talking about dice masters and zed run you know i preloaded this a little bit because i was like all right just in case my computer craps out you know so that will be my metal moment for today so uh 
I'll send you guys a link to the expand community chat if you guys want to join in. Oh crap, it's Leak Dude TV. Hey dude, hey, thanks for swinging by, brother. Heck yeah. Hey, it's Leak Dude TV. He's also another great streamer as well. And he has his own community space. If you guys want to send some love and check out his community space as well, you know, go to expand GG. Um, let's see, I think I have let's see, I think it's here. No, it's I thought it was in your community space, brother. Um, not sure. Could have sworn I had you, man. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But follow him, too, on um, Expand. He's a really cool dude. And, you know, he's been supporting me, too, man. And I appreciate the support from everyone, man, you know. But let's go swing by to Zedward. Oh, crap. The, the race started. Oh, sorry, guys. Let's go show positions. Let's see where I'm at. Let's see. So we got Cybercop in. Let's see. Fourth place right now. All right, not too bad. So 1,000 meters, once again, it's like a quick sprint, sprint to the finish. So this, these kind of races are a little bit faster than like the marathons, but it's still exciting because it could be anyone's game, you know, because you're like, oh crap, you know, I'm number one, but then all of a sudden, like at 100 meters or 50 meters, I could still lose, you know, which, you know, creates that suspense aspect to it. But, oh crap, man, you know, <laughs> kind of jinx myself, you see? You know, uh, I was number one. You know, Cybercop was killing it, but let's see, we got Spanish Blood and let's see, Liberty, Liberty Cap, like just came in and crushed it. You know, so those thousand meters. Oh crap! I see Cybercop though. He's he's putting in some work right now. Let's see. Oh crap! Coming in from 12. Let's see. Let's see. Damn, he's moving quick, man. Let's see, ninth place, but you see these kind of races too, um, the sprints like a thousand, twelve hundred, they're, they're so much suspense, man. <laughs> so much builds up from it for sure, because you're like, oh crap, I could be a first, and all of a sudden you're at 12, and then your heart just drops, and then you're like, oh crap, I'm coming back up, you know, so. So, you know, I lost, but hey, it's still fun, man. Still fun, still pretty unique. And you know what? I think I know why uh, I've been losing the stream. It's, I forgot to feed my horses, man. I, the first thing I told you guys, and uh, Dodie brought it up too. I, I forgot to feed my horses, man. And it could be, you know, you know, speculations, you know. But most of the time, when I do feed them, they do better, you know. So it is what it is, you know. What can I say? <laughs> Heck yeah. Well, I hope you guys were getting close to the end of the stream. Um, I just want to say again, you know, truly from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys for again for swinging by, you know, swinging by. You know, I know everyone's lives super busy. You guys got a whole bunch of things or, you know, building within the Central Line community or whatever you got going on in your personal life. So having the time to really tune in with me live or even checking out my stream later, thank you so much. Really means a lot to me. And hell yeah, Sherry, thanks again, dude. Thanks again for, you know, coming through. Really appreciate that so much, man, you know. And also I want to say, segue to uh, the Central Line report. So, guys, we have reporters covering topics every day. I'm not the only Central Line reporter. We got a whole full team. So if you guys want to check out the other streamers, um, we got Mariana. Monday, 7 p.m. She's a Central Air Reporter. Everyone here is the Central Air Reporter. Fractillions, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Monday as well. Tuesday, we go back to Kevin on Earth, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And this is when he does his NF Tuesdays. Big scavenger hunt throughout the Central Line. Then we got Meta Trackers at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. He just joined our team. Just joined our team. Um, he had some sort of... Um, technical issues but he will start streaming soon so definitely stay tuned you know and uh, wednesday you got me you got your boy frisky man hopefully you guys enjoyed my stream you know i really appreciate all you guys thursday back at it again with kevin 7 p.m eastern standard time and our thursdays too he reviews um different topics too like with dial proposals etc so make sure you tune in because you get to learn some cool stuff too and uh, you know kevin and Nerf, he's done dial proposals too so if that's something that potentially might interest you you know definitely check it out you know um friday we got fabino 7 p.m eastern standard time he streams uh specific uh exclusively in portuguese so if you have any portuguese fans that you're trying to get within the central land community make sure you um you know do follow for a fabino or referring to fabino he's a good dude really great asset in our team 
Saturday, we got the Big Ben, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 4 p.m. UTC. So, um, I might change my time schedule just because, uh, you know, work or whatever, but uh, I would definitely let you guys know in the future. You know, I'm still going to be tuning in 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but I'll definitely let you guys know for sure. Um, I know a lot of people requested maybe I do an earlier time, so I was trying to look at my schedule. The only way I could really do it is maybe on the weekends, but, um, you know, sometimes I have drill on the weekends, so I'm just trying to find a, like a good zone or whatever, but we'll see what happens. But yeah, guys, I just want to say truly, bottom of my heart, thank you guys guys again for tuning in really appreciate all the love and support from you guys you, you guys are absolutely incredible and yeah you know you guys take care and i'll see you guys next week much love take care guys